I guess it was about midnight when we arrived at the hospital. The doctor was waiting at the door, and they carried my sweet wife to a delivery room. And I was left alone to walk the waiting room floor. And like all first-time fathers, I guess I was nervous, for my long-awaited son was about to arrive in this world. <laughs> I even cut myself a little chuckle as I thought, you know something? It could be an old girl. But I could feel the weariness and tension mounting in me as I paced the room time and time again, and finally I reckon it got to me. And I sat down and placed my head in my hands, and then I looked up as the hall door swung open and the doctor entered with his head bowed low. And then he told me of the complications and the decisions only I could make and urged me not to be too slow. Oh, for a long, timeless moment, I stood there staring at him in shock and disbelief. I mean, how could I tell him to save my wife or save my child when they both mean the whole world and everything to me? I excused myself and walked off down the little hall. And my footsteps carried me to the chapel door. And with an aching heart, I entered. And with head bowed low, I just knelt down on the floor. Oh, you must love them an awful lot, Lord. Maybe even as much as I do, because you can't make up your own mind which one to extend your welcome hand to. Now, I know I never asked for very much, Lord, but if I could make you a deal, well, I guess you know what it would be. Let them both live their lives, and if you've got to take one, please, please let it be me. And then somehow I got to feeling a little better, and I hurried back down the hall. The doctor wasn't there, and as I wondered where he was, why, my legs gave way, and... Suddenly, I began to fall. What was wrong, I wondered. Why was I lying there on the floor? Gosh, it seemed like an eternity until I looked up and I saw the doctor come running through the door. Well, he's bending over me now and his eyes tell me that soon my life will be gone. And the only thing I can think of is that now he'll have to make that decision alone. But then he turns to his nurse and he says, it's too bad he won't know of the miracle that's happened and that somehow they're both going to be all right. <sighs> and I try to force a last little smile as I think, it's too bad he don't know of the deal I made with my God.